Hello and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good people of the tube. Hope you are today, hope you're feeling grand and awesome in your world. Uh, I have this guitar to show you today, people of the tube. Um, okay, so off the bat, um, I want to say I don't like doing negative reviews, and it's very rare that I will. And this is kind of no different. This is a semi-negative, semi-positive review of this 2017 Epiphone, uh, was it Standard Pro? Okay, so this is kind of, you know, and I say semi-negative because this guitar and me, we don't get on. Um, not 100%, as hopefully you'll hear. Hopefully um, the playing section of this demo, you'll uh, it'll, it'll sound okay. Uh, but we don't see eye to eye and we don't get on and there's a big disconnect between me and this guitar. Uh, the guitar itself is great. The build quality is insane. I do have some negatives about it though, which I'll get to admit. But I really debated whether to do this video or not because I haven't had this, yeah, uh, I, I recently I traded another guitar for this guitar. So this was a kind of a trade thing. Um, and it's been kind of sat around. I've been kind of plinking away on it. But I really debated if I wanted to do a, a review on it or not. And eventually I just thought, I'll do it. But I'll do it as a semi-negative, semi-positive kind of thing. So I'll, I'll talk about all the negatives I've got on this guitar and all the positives as well. So let's get the negatives out of the way first. Okay, so the negatives are, I hate the neck. The neck is... Honestly, one of the most uncomfortable guitar necks for my hand. It's uh, that standard Epiphone D shape uh, neck, and for some reason, this it just fatigues my hand so quickly. My hand is really tired. Like I can feel it's really tired and fatigued. I don't get that uh, on guitar. I only the only time I ever really get that is on V necks. If I put a really sharp V necks. Uh, I've had it on PRS guitars, and this one. Uh, and funny enough, I get it on my ep my Epiphone as well, but not so much my Epiphone. I think mean, it's because I'm used to it, but it's not as drastic as this. The ne the, sh the shape of this neck is just literally flat down the middle, flat down the middle, and then just a little bit rounded on the edge. And for thumb over playing, it just feels horrid, if I'm being perfectly honest. I really don't like the neck. I don't like the width of it. Uh, the frets, the fret work and the, the binding are spot on though. They are absolutely spot on. It's just the neck shape does not suit my hand at all. This is however though, because this is like where I mean semi-negative, semi-positive, just because it doesn't fit my hand and I don't like it doesn't mean that you won't. So bear that in mind people with you when I'm talking about all these negatives, okay? I can't stand this neck. Uh, in all fairness, uh, and because you spend all the time pretty much on the neck, that has to be right, and when it's not there, it ain't there. So that's the biggest disconnect between me and this guitar is we just don't see eye to eye in the fact that I just it doesn't feel comfortable. Even putting my hand on it like this feels uncomfortable. And it, like I say, it just absolutely fatigues my hand. And uh, in the playing section of the video to come in, I stopped because um, I was just getting too worn out by it. I, I mean, I, 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 I've already done the playing bit, I'm sweating. It really made me work really hard for it. But there were some bits where I was like, this is really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable to play. And I, I wasn't particularly... I was kind of. I had to dig very deep, basically, people of the tube, to get this uh, demo done. Which I wanted to get done because, like I say, is this a bad guitar? No. Not in the slightest bit. But for me, it doesn't work. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. Anyway, so don't have a neck at all. Uh, the shape of it is just horrid for me. I just can't stand it at all. Um, my other negatives are the pickups. They sound good, but I always find Epiphone humbuckers that they're just really dark. These are probably the best Epiphone humbuckers I've tried, but they still don't really appeal to me. To be perfectly honest, they're they're okay, but um, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be trading this guitar out for my Revelation or my Vintage or my my Tokai or 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 any of the other Les Pauls I've got. I wouldn't be. This would be, you know, this would be bottom of the pile. Um, 
because like I say, neck and the pickups. And that's where my negatives end. Well, there's actually one other negative as well, and you know, I'll get into a minute. But other than that, let's talk about the positives. So the positives are this thing. Not only does it look absolutely awesome and glorious, is coil tappable, so you can pull out the volume and the tone to get uh, to split these, and that that sounds. In all fairness, when they're split. I reckon they sound more like an old Les Paul than they do when they're kind of in full humbucker mode. But that's me. Again, just, you know, take everything that I say from, you know, it's just my perspective, let's say. Uh, nut's great. Fret works great. It plays on every fret. This thing is, when when I can play it, when it feels comfortable, bits and pieces every now and again, it plays really nicely. And I say, if you're accustomed to this neck shape, awesome. Stays in tune really well. Um... Uh, the, if the switch feels nice, the pots feel nice. The push pull thing is really cool, in the fact of uh, in the top of the uh, the dial here, there's like a recess. I don't know if you'll be, I doubt you'll be able to see it, but there's kind of like uh, a bit kind of like recessed out the top of the the knob cover here. It gives you really easy access to get hold of it to pull it out to coil tap it. It's brilliant. That's so cool. You just yeah, you just you just pull it out. It's so easy to get hold of. Because sometimes push pull can be really you know, nightmarish to get hold of, but this one's really easy, uh, which is always always pleasant. So um, like the like the coil taps, uh, I like the fact it stays in tune. Uh, Grover machine heads, always good. Um, like I say, it's just the neck and the pickups for me. It uh, doesn't work. It and also I find this to be mega lazy. The back's just black. You've, you've got, you've, I phone got, went through all the trouble of making this absolutely gorgeous tobacco sunburst on the top here, which looks stunning. And the carve, the carve of the top, if I get it in the right light, you should be able to see it. There we go. The carve of the top is so good. It's a really kind of like really deep dish. It's, it's really old. You know, it looks like an old Les Paul. It's not quite as drastic as an old Les Paul. But it, it's definitely a, a very, very nice carve on this. It's not like my uh, 2002 Epiphone, where it's just kind of like, it's like a, like a hill. This one's actually really nice. It's got the kind of like really nice Les Paul uh, carved top, this one. It's really, it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. Um, hence why I took the scratch plate off. I don't like playing Les Pauls without scratch plates, but as soon as I put the scratch plate on this, it just didn't look right, so it came off and it stayed off. But um, anyway... Looks amazing, but like I say, do something with the back. Black, I mean, come on. You know, even if they just put a burst on the back, it'd be cool. Or just kind of like leave it like the mahogany. Uh, you know, like like the tobacco sunbursts were. You know, they were they were that on top, and then on the back, it was just like the mahogany wood. It looked amazing. The black, it, that just cheapens the whole guitar for me. You know, like, gorgeous. Meh. Gorgeous. Meh. You know, because I don't like to be negative, but... Like I say, there are more positives about this than there are negatives, which is always a good thing. The back, the neck, and the pickups to me are, are the negatives. Uh, the neck being the most horrific negative to me. Again, to me. But is this guitar great? Yeah, it really is cool. Uh, it's not for me, unfortunately. I wish it was, but it's not. Uh, I will be moving this guitar on. Uh, by the time this video comes out, it might have actually already sold. But my gravy, my hand is really achy. Um, which is never a good sign, you know what I mean? It, you know, if you if you're playing a guitar and it aches your hand, it's not your guitar. You know, this this isn't my guitar. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be with me for much longer at all. Uh, but I did want to bring it to you. Like I said, I really fought long and hard. Should I? Shouldn't I? Because I just haven't been getting along with it. And to be honest with you, I haven't played it for a while because of that reason. But I, I wanted to I wanted to do it. Like I said, I don't really do like like to do negative reviews. But there are more positives in this thing. This is a great guitar. It just doesn't work for me. It's as simple as that. But somebody else would absolutely... I guarantee somebody else out there would love this thing. And it could easily become their main guitar and their dream. You know what I mean? It really could. Because, you know, just yeah, we're all the individual. We like different things. What I, don't, what, I, what I don't like, somebody else will love. And that's the point. So bear that in mind, people of the tube. But these things, uh, the Epiphone Pros, uh, the Les Paul Standard Pros... Uh, that you know just be aware of them like gravy 
Um, <laughs> it's really I'm gonna have to I'm, I'm gonna have to just like take a break from guitar for the rest of the day now. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely guitar, but it's not for me. So you probably won't see this again on the channel. It'll be gone. But uh, it's a very nice guitar, and I was I'm very happy to bring it to you for what it's worth. Uh, like I say, I don't like to do negative reviews. It feels weird. I'll I'll talk about that later. But um, but it's a great guitar, and it does sound good. I can't deny it sounds good. But for me, they just the pickups aren't quite there compared to like my my Revelation and my Tokai and um, my other my other Les Paul guitars. Like these pickups are just they're not they're not in that same realm. They're good, but they're not that. But again, that's me. You know what I mean? Um, they're not they're not quite there for me. Uh, it does sound like a Les Paul, though. I mean, I can't deny that one. It does sound like a Les Paul, you know. And if it quacks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's a duck. So, um, so yeah, anyway. Um, hope you enjoyed this video anyway. I hope, you know, I hope I haven't kind of, like, tarnished it too much. But like I say, it is a great guitar. It just isn't for me, so I'm going to move it on. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video anyway. I hope you enjoyed the playing. And I hope you enjoyed the noises this thing makes. And I will see you again very soon for another video, everybody. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. And uh, yeah, goodbye now. Thank you. Goodbye.